come to your mind when I say think of a toxic person in your life okay think of another one think of another one now if you can come up with three or four names of toxic people in your life you have a problem now what's worse is if these toxic people are in your closest circle where they usually are like in the family if they're in the family so help you God or friends or close colleagues people who are you know in your immediate vicinity at work point is toxic people are fact of life but when we're talking about self-leadership we have to pay this subject a special attention because as we have been talking so far you know life sometimes gets tough and sometimes gets very tough so to stay on your journey of survival and growth you need people to push you forward you know you don't need people to pull you back hence the issue of toxic people because they can really pull you back. How do you know if a toxic, if somebody is, has a toxic presence in your life? There are many indicators where you can feel that. Such as, toxic people drain you. You feel drained. I'll share a story with you. I swear I'm not exaggerating. I was in a car in Dubai on a highway with a toxic person. This person was so negative, was so negative in what they were saying. I literally thought, I absolutely literally thought of opening the door and throwing myself out of the car. I seriously thought that. I mean, of course I didn't do it, but it crossed my mind that maybe it would be less painful to jump you know, on a highway than to stay in the vicinity of somebody like that. You feel absolutely empty from inside. They just suck all your energy and wind out of you. So they drain you. Toxic people are people who intimidate you to get what they want. They use intimidation, so that's you know, fear and bullying, to get away with what they want. And they are soft kinds of intimidation and bullying, and they are, you know, obvious hard kind. But nonetheless, they intimidate you. Toxic people play on your guilt. They use the guilt element. And this is especially true in families. My God, how this is true in families. I mean, you name it. And it's used by the closest parent. Sometimes, I mean, I mean f- forgive me for saying that, by parents, uncles, aunts, sisters brothers sometimes your kids sometimes your spouse your partner and the closer the relationship of course the closer the 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 more intense the guilt feeling it can become so they play on that that feeling to what to extract anything that they can from you and to replace you to replace it with emptiness or with negativity toxic people are jealous people who even sometimes from the outside they look smiling but you feel it the vibes are clear you know that they really it's a yellow smile they're jealous and that that feeling is toxic it spoils any success that you can have you know and any pleasant moment that you can enjoy especially when you're happy or when you're enjoying an achievement toxic people play victim they are experts in playing victim experts Why do they want to do that? So that they play on your sympathy and compassion. Bottom line, when they're playing victim and they're demanding your sympathy and compassion, they're really manipulating you so that they can stay in your life and keep feeding of you at your own expense. Toxic people consume your resources. It's like parasites. They're in your life 
they take all your energy away so that they can live off this, this energy and leave you weak. One of the good ways of knowing if somebody is toxic or not is very simple. When this person is away from you, do you feel more peaceful? When you feel the more peace in the absence of this person, you say, thank God this person is not around, then it's obvious the presence of that person is toxic. Toxic people are people who discourage you in case of in, in, instead of encouraging you. And I can go on and on and on. Bottom line, when they are in your presence or when you are in their presence, what you feel inside is not nice. It's not empowering. It's not encouraging. It's not happy. It's not peaceful. Most importantly, they just take your peace away. That's the least. <laughs>do we do with that reality of life why am i saying it's reality of life because almost everybody has some toxic people around them human nature we you live with people and people have different attitudes so it's a common universal problem so what do you do with it you know, strategy number one or choice number one is accept it and live with it why why do you have to live with this why do you have to live with unnecessary source of pain isn't the inevitable pain of life enough so that you can tolerate these people in your life? So other option is ignore them. Well, let me tell you, you can't ignore them because they're toxic. How can you ignore poison? You can't. Poison is not passive. The third option is to do something about it. And that's what self-leadership is about. You have to do something about it. Because what's self-leadership? Self-leadership is to do whatever it takes to protect yourself, to position yourself in a way so that you can tolerate and deal with the challenges of life, solve your problems, not become stuck in them, and move forward. And if you can, capture opportunities so that you can maximize your experience of living, maximize the moment of joy, maximize the impact, you know, live your life so that at the end you say, I lived a full life. That's what self-leadership is all about, is mobilizing yourself so that you can maximize your experience of living in spite of the difficulties and challenges and in spite of the toxic people. So what do you do to get toxic people out of your life? I'm going to share with you a list of techniques, mechanisms, things that steps you can do, key steps that you could do to protect yourself from these toxic people. Use the ones that are most appropriate for you. So it's up to you, but do it. Let's start. Know that toxic people don't change. At least it is very hard for them to change. Okay, let me take it further. It is not your responsibility to change toxic people. Don't do that. They're like quicksand. You try to help them, they pull you in and you drown with them. So don't bet on them changing. That's why you have to get rid of them or at least protect yourself. Another technique, maintain a distance. Stay away as much as you can from them. Minimize the point of contact. Minimize the time you spend together as much as you can. Sometimes it's hard to do that, especially when these people are family or close friends or in your you know, work surrounding. You can't fire your colleagues. Can you fire your colleagues? You can't. You can't fire your parents. You can't fire your children. So they're there or your siblings. But you can manage the distance their noise is becoming too distorting, too much headache, you know, stay away. Another technique is to put, to set clear boundaries. They have to understand that there are boundaries around you, and this is such an important word, boundaries around you, that they are not allowed to cross. There is a limit to how much they can interfere in your life. And trust me, they will interfere because they live of your energy. 
So be absolutely clear on the boundaries. Now to do that, you have the power. To, you have to have the power and the strength and the courage to say no, to say enough is enough. I know it's not comfortable, but you have to teach yourself this: to say no, I'm not comfortable with this. I don't approve this. Please stay away. It's not my problem. All of these set your boundaries. Become a master of that. Another technique, reject their projections. Mm -hmm. This is a wonderful point. These people have their own view of the world. Usually it's a negative view of the world. I know a person who says, you're going to love this one. He says, I wait for the first thing that would happen after midnight, New Year's Eve. 12 o'clock midnight, it's New Year now, I wait for the first thing to happen. If it's negative, then I know the entire 12 months will be a disaster. People, I mean, what do you expect? An entire philosophy based on this view of looking at the world. And what they peop these people do, they project their philosophy on you. They project their thinking on you. They project their negativity. Everything is black, dark, you know, whatever, how, no matter how they look at life. They try to project it on you, Re reject that. This is the lens that they use to look at the world. It does not have to be your lens. When you try to keep negative people or, or, or poisonous people away from you, guess what will happen? They will resist. They will resist viciously and the more they're feeding of you the more they will resist because you're cutting away a source of energy to them so don't expect it's going to be easy that's why sometimes you have to be absolutely surgical you have to cut and you might be collateral damage i know what i'm saying can be hard and some people might think it's brutal but my friend, I mean, what are the choices? You continue to bleed and they suck your blood away. I'm using harsh words, but that's the reality. It's a metaphor, but it's, that's how you, I mean, you know what I mean? Just reflect on your experience. So you have to be prepared for their, res their resistance and you have to be surgical. Now, one of the mechanisms that they will use to resist is to play on your guilt. Don't allow that to happen. It is not a genuine feeling. It is manipulation. It's an emotional manipulation. So that the exchange is, okay, accept me, let's stay as we are, and I don't make you feel guilty. You keep me away, you don't do what I say, I'll play the guilt feeling and you will feel guilty. Don't fall into that. It's manipulation. You don't owe them anything you might owe your loyalty to the good aspect of them. But you can't be a victim of their mess or of their attitude. So be ruthless to that. Support them when they need you. But don't fall a victim of their own mess. Focus on your own life. Your life is about your issues, your challenges. It's not about their issues. Take charge. Take charge of your life. Don't be focused on them. Your, their problems are not your problems. The last point that I want to say, or the last two points is, choose your battles. Why? Because sometimes there are a number of post negative people or poisonous people around you. So understand that this is going to be difficult. It's going to be messy, especially if they're very close. So don't open so many battles at the same time. Make sure beforehand that you are taking the right battle and you will continue it to the end and then you move to the other person, the other problem that you need to handle. The last point is this is going to be a continuous maintenance story because once you get rid of one, another one will pop out. Once you get rid of another one, third one will pop out. So you continuously have to monitor your life and make sure that these people do not exist or at least they're not exploiting you.
calligraphy stuff people are you know come with all kinds of colors and shapes and attitudes you have to support people as much as you can but your prime loyalty is to your survival and growth because how can you help others if you can't if you don't take care of yourself and that's what self leadership is about to do that you have to protect yourself from toxic people and there are plenty around you it's not an option it's not a choice if you want to lead your life to a fruitful peaceful worth living life otherwise you'll spend an entire life being a victim of their attitude and of their mess and you're not born for that you're much better than being the victim of somebody else's mess